Gentlemen, what if I told you that your morning erections are actually doing secret maintenance work while you sleep, or that the size of your erect penis can actually change depending on how healthy your lifestyle is, or that there is a part of your erection you cannot even see that lives completely inside your body? These are not myths. These are facts that most men never learn, and some of them might completely change how you think about your body, your health, and what is really going on down there. I am Dr. Sophie Clark, and I've spent years helping men understand their bodies without shame, confusion, or outdated information. Today, I'm going to walk you through 12 surprising, science-backed facts about erections that will make you see your own anatomy in a completely new light. Some of these will make you laugh, some will make you think, and at least one will make you say, Wait, that cannot be real. But I promise you, every single one of these is true. If you care about your health, your confidence, and staying strong as you age, you need to hear this. So let us start with something that happens long before you are even born. Fact number one. Baby boys can have erections in the womb. Yes, you read that right. Before a baby boy takes his first breath, before he opens his eyes, his body is already testing the erection system. Ultrasound studies have shown male fetuses as early as 16 weeks displaying erections that last anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. This is not about arousal, it is about wiring. The developing nervous system is practicing, sending signals, making sure everything connects properly. Think of it like a car engine being tested before the car leaves the factory. The body is checking that the nerves, the blood vessels and the reflexes are all working together. Even female babies have similar responses in the clitoris, which is the same tissue, just arranged differently. This tells us something important. Erections are not just about sex. They are a core part of how the male body is built from the very beginning. Fact number two. The penis is not a muscle. I hear this mistake all the time. Men think they can exercise the penis like a bicep, that they can pump it up or make it grow with special exercises. But the truth is, the penis is made of three tubes of spongy tissue called the corpora cavernosa and the corpus spongiosum. When you get an erection, these tubes fill with blood. The blood gets trapped temporarily, and that creates firmness and length. There are no muscles in the shaft itself. Now, you can strengthen the pelvic floor muscles that support erections and help control ejaculation. Those muscles, like the bulbospongiosis, are real skeletal muscles you can train. But the penis itself does not lift weights. It fills with blood. Understanding this helps you stop chasing gimmicks and start focusing on what actually works, improving your circulation, your nerve health, and your overall fitness. Fact number three. You get erections all night long, even when you are fast asleep. Most men have no idea this is happening. During deep sleep, particularly during REM sleep when you dream, your body produces what doctors call nocturnal penile tumescence. In plain English, that means automatic erections that happen without any arousal or conscious thought. Healthy men experience three to five of these episodes every single night, and they can last anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes each. Why does this happen? Because your body is maintaining the health of your erectile tissue. Those nighttime erections bring fresh, oxygen-rich blood into the penis, keeping the tissue flexible, healthy and responsive. Think of it like your body doing maintenance while you sleep, making sure everything still works. If you stop having these nighttime erections and nothing else in your life has changed, that can be a warning sign. It might mean circulation issues, hormone problems, sleep disorders, or side effects from medication. This is why doctors sometimes ask about morning erections. It is a simple but powerful clue about your overall health. Fact number four. Humans used to have spines on the penis, but we lost them. This one sounds wild, but it is true. 
many of our closest relatives in the animal kingdom, like chimpanzees, have tiny barbed spines covering the surface of the penis. These are not big spikes. They are small, hard projections that create texture. Scientists believe these spines served a few purposes. They may have helped displace the semen of competing males in species where females mated with multiple partners. They also increased sensitivity, which allowed for faster ejaculation. But at some point in human evolution, we lost the gene that creates these spines. That same genetic change is linked to the development of our larger brains and more complex social bonding. In other words, we traded spines for smarter brains and deeper relationships. Humans developed longer, more intimate sexual encounters and stronger pair bonding instead of quick, competitive mating. It is a fascinating reminder that our bodies are shaped by millions of years of change and every detail has a reason behind it. Fact number five, shoe size and height do not predict penis size. This is one of the most common myths out there and I want to put it to rest once and for all. Studies have looked at this question from every angle and the answer is clear. There is no reliable connection between a man's height, shoe size, hand size, or any other body measurement, and the size of his erect penis. Genetics play a role, as does overall health. Obesity, smoking, poor circulation, and chronic illness can all negatively affect penal size and function. One study in Japan did find a correlation between penile length and a specific body measurement, but it was not height or shoe size. The point is this. Do not judge yourself or anyone else based on external features. Every man is built differently, and that variation is completely normal. What matters far more than size is health, function, and how you take care of your body over time. Fact number six, orgasm and erection are separate processes. Many men assume that if you cannot get an erection, you cannot have an orgasm, but that is not true. Orgasm involves rhythmic muscle contractions, the release of certain neurotransmitters, and the sensation of climax. These pathways can function even when the penis is not fully erect. This is incredibly important for men dealing with erectile dysfunction. You can still experience pleasure, connection, and climax while you work on improving your erection quality. Sex is not just about hardness, it is about sensation intimacy, and being present with your body and your partner. Fact number seven. You can break your penis, and it is a medical emergency. The penis does not have a bone, but it can still fracture. This happens when an erect penis is forcefully bent, usually during vigorous sexual activity. The tunica albuginea, the tough outer layer surrounding the erectile tissue, can tear. When this happens, you will hear a popping or cracking sound, followed by immediate pain, loss of erection, swelling, and sometimes bruising that looks dark purple or black. Some men also have trouble urinating. Certain positions, like reverse cowgirl, are more commonly associated with this injury because the angle and force can create a sudden, unnatural bend. If this ever happens to you, do not wait. Go to the emergency room immediately. Surgical repair is often needed, and the sooner it is done, the better the long-term outcome for function and appearance. This is not something to be embarrassed about. Doctors see it, and they know how to fix it. Fact number eight. Some men are growers, and some are showers. You have probably heard this casual phrase before, but there is real science behind it. Some men have a flaccid penis that is fairly close in size to their erect penis. These are the so-called showers. Others have a smaller flaccid size that increases significantly when erect. These are the growers. Studies show that the difference can be dramatic. A grower might increase by 70 to 80% in length during an erection, while a shower might only increase by 20 to 30%. This variation is normal and depends on factors like the elasticity of your tissue, the tone of your smooth muscles, 
and how your blood vessels respond. Neither type is better or worse. It is just anatomy. But understanding this can help you stop comparing yourself to others in situations where size looks different, like in a locker room or a bathroom. Flaccid size tells you almost nothing about erect size. Fact number nine. The man who invented cornflakes wanted to stop men from having erections. This fact sounds too strange to be true, but it is. John Harvey Kellogg was a doctor and health reformer in the late 1800s. He believed that sexual desire was dangerous and unhealthy, especially outside of marriage and procreation. He thought that eating bland, simple food would reduce sexual urges. So he promoted a plain breakfast cereal made from corn, no sugar, no flavour, just bland flakes. That cereal became corn flakes. Kellogg also believed in extreme measures to prevent masturbation, including recommending circumcision without anaesthesia for boys, and even more disturbing procedures for girls. His ideas were rooted in fear, shame, and outdated beliefs about the body. Modern science has completely rejected these views. Sexual health is a normal, important part of life, and there is no reason to fear it or suppress it. I share this story as a reminder that medical culture evolves, and not every idea from the past deserves to be respected. Fact number 10. Smoking can literally shrink your penis. If you need one more reason to quit smoking, here it is. Smoking damages the small blood vessels that supply the penis. Over time, this reduces blood flow, which makes erections weaker. But it also damages the elastic tissue inside the erectile chambers. That tissue can become stiff, scarred, and less able to expand. The result is not just weaker erections. It is actual loss of length. Some studies suggest that chronic smokers can lose up to a centimetre or more in erect length over the years. The good news is that quitting smoking, especially if you are younger and have not yet developed severe damage, can help protect your erections and preserve your size. Your body has an amazing ability to heal when you remove the thing that is hurting it. If cancer, heart disease and lung problems have not convinced you to quit, maybe protecting your sexual function will. Your penis is a barometer for your overall vascular health. If your blood vessels are damaged in the penis, they are likely damaged everywhere else too. Fact number 11. A large part of your erection is hidden inside your body. This surprises many men when they first learn it. The visible part of the penis, the shaft you can see and touch, is only part of the story. The erectile tissue continues inside your body, anchored to the bones of your pelvis and surrounded by muscles, nerves and ligaments. This internal portion is called the root of the penis, and it plays a critical role in creating the stability and firmness you feel during an erection. If you press gently on the area between your scrotum and your anus, the perineum, during an erection, you can actually feel the fullness of these internal structures. This is also why weight gain around the pubic area can make your penis look shorter. The penis did not shrink. Fat is simply covering more of the base, hiding part of the visible length. Losing weight, strengthening your pelvic floor and improving circulation can all help restore the appearance of your natural length. The penis is still there. You are just clearing away what is covering it. Fact number 12. Your erection quality is a window into your overall health. This is the most important fact on this list. Erections are not just about sex or masculinity. They are a direct reflection of your circulatory system, your nervous system, your hormone balance, and your overall physical and emotional health. The same blood vessels that supply your penis also supply your heart, your brain, and every other organ in your body. If those vessels are clogged, stiff, or damaged, your erections will be affected first because the blood vessels in the penis are smaller and more delicate. 
This is why erectile dysfunction is often an early warning sign of heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, or other serious conditions. If you are noticing weaker erections, less frequent morning erections, or difficulty maintaining firmness, do not ignore it. Talk to a doctor. Get your blood pressure checked. Test your cholesterol, your blood sugar, your testosterone. These are not just numbers. They are clues about what is happening inside your body. Treating the root cause, whether it is poor diet, lack of exercise, stress, smoking, or an underlying medical condition, will not only improve your erections, it will improve your life. So now you know. Erections are not random. They are not simple. They are a complex, beautiful coordination of blood flow, nerve signals, hormones, sleep quality, emotional state, and overall health. They begin before you are born. They continue every single night while you sleep. They change with age, lifestyle, and how you treat your body. And they can teach you more about your health than almost any other physical sign. If you take care of your circulation, your heart, your weight, your stress and your sleep, your erections will follow. And if you notice changes, pay attention. Your body is trying to tell you something. Gentlemen, you are not past your prime. You are not broken. You are simply in a new chapter, and that chapter can be strong, confident, and full of vitality if you choose to support your body with the care and respect it deserves. Thank you for spending this time with me. If this information helped you, share it with someone who needs to hear it. Your health matters, your confidence matters, and your body is still capable of far more than you might think.